Yeah. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, we got some people joining. Okay, I was having some problems with the connectivity here, but we are good to go. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for Painting for Positivity. This is a segment that I am doing. I'm partnering with the Family Resiliency Center of the Permian Basin. If you don't know who they are, this was a center that was created shortly after the August 31st mass shooting. And um, this is to provide anyone who's dealt with trauma, especially after that day. And um, if you need any type of uh, help as far as counseling goes, then they're here to help. And so they're hosting these workshops as we're heading into the one year anniversary. And I hate saying anniversary because it doesn't really sound like something that you want to celebrate, but we have a lot of workshops here and this is just to get people to, um, you know, kind of get in the zone a little bit, kind of get out of their, uh, get their creative juices flowing. And that's why I do these painting for positivity workshops. So um, I did this in the beginning of quarantine, but now I'm doing it again. And I'm so excited to be partnering with the Family Resiliency Center. So uh, before we get started, I had a request to do an animal today, to paint an animal. So we're going to do a giraffe. Uh, before we get started, let me show you the paints that we're using. Hi, Mickey. Hey, Michael. Thanks for joining. Yeah, definitely painting again. I'm so excited too. Okay, so I don't know if you could see it. Yellow, brown, try not to spill it. Red, black, white, and those are the main colors you're gonna be using. And then I'm also gonna choose this uh, ocean breeze as my background. But let me just show you an example. I would say this is pretty easy. This is great for the kids as well. ta -da! We got a little giraffe. His name is Jeffrey. And uh, pretty simple. He's like, yeah, what's up? It's Wednesday, but we're going to get through it. Okay, so before I was painting, I, well, I was in the middle of sketching, but I'll sketch again. So you kind of start out with this apple shape. Actually, let me do it with the paintbrush, just so you can see it clearly. So whatever paintbrush you want, I use acrylic paint. You can use temper paint. You can use oil paint, whatever you prefer. I just use acrylic. If you're gonna paint, make sure it's in a t-shirt that you don't mind getting dirty. So kind of creating this apple shape right here, this bump, then it's gonna go down into this weird apple shape, okay? Um, also, we do have the Resiliency Center in on this Facebook Live, so if you have any questions about the center, if you're someone who might need some help, or if you just want to inquire about talking to someone, then um, you know, comment down below or you can just message their Facebook page. And actually, if, you, if we have any yogis in the house, uh, if you are... If you do any type of yoga, they do hold uh, yoga workshops on their Facebook Live as well, and they're gonna do that tomorrow at 5 p.m. Okay, so now that you have this kind of weird yellow apple shape thing, you wanna do these little leaf shapes right here on the side too, okay? These are gonna be Jeffrey's ears. I'm calling him Jeffrey, but call him whatever you want. Okay, and then, there they are, they're here, okay. Then you're gonna bring the neck down. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want it to be completely straight like this, right? Yeah, no one wants that. Giraffes kind of have this like, kind of gets a little wider as you get down to the bottom. So, gonna make that wider all the way down below. And same thing for this side. Gets skinny on top and then it gets wider at the bottom. Okay, then paint all of that in. Oh, and also um, they do provide provide free services here. So, um, you know, and it doesn't even have to be anything in regards to the August 31st uh, event, but if you are someone who's just going through a really tough time right now, and you don't know who to turn to, um, I would say, you know, inquire and, and ask for help, you know? And this is why I'm like a very strong advocate for getting mental health, um, help for mental health, right? Okay, so adding this yellow right here. So 
The reason why I am starting with the foreground first as opposed to the background is because since yellow is already a bright color and it's typically lighter, I don't want to paint with a dark background because then you're just going to add layers and layers and layers of yellow and it's just going to take too much time. So uh, the little antenna thing, I don't know what you call these things, but just little, kind of this little line right here, just one right there, another one right there, okay? And because this is acrylic paint, you always want to have some type of water cup next to you so that way you can wash off the paint. Because what happens is it dries into this plasticky, uh, into this plastic on the brush, and that's how you damage your brushes. But um, I also had questions on what is the best paintbrush as well to buy. I would say the synthetic bristles and uh, the reason why is because I don't have some of those like uh, those other cheap bristles that fall all over the canvas. It's just a complete mess. Okay, so you can pick whatever background color you want. I am choosing Ocean Breeze just because um, it's a pretty color. It's like a teal color. So I'm gonna add that and make sure when you are painting, you are getting the sides of the canvas. That's what. I can't stress that enough. And tell the kids that too when they start <laughs> when they start painting. And the reason why is because if you ever choose to hang your painting, you could actually just hang the canvas by itself, unless you want to frame it. But okay. So let's just say you're you're you, you're gonna paint that. Okay, that's done. So once you have that painted. It should look something like this. Wow, Jelena, that was fast. The reason why I had to pre-paint it is because you have to, I had to add several coats and uh, it just gets tiring after a while. But And it takes a while to uh, dry when you add several coats. So anyway, so now that we have that part done, we are going to add the spots. So let me just finish this off right here just so I know where his head is. Okay, for this part, I'm gonna use a smaller brush. Let's see, do I have a smaller brush? I do have one. It's hiding somewhere, here we go. That is way too small, but you know what? It'll work. Okay, so using some of the brown, I think I'm going to add one right here. Ossicones? Probably. I have no idea. I'm not a giraffe expert, but <laughs> feel free to chime in if you know what they're called. Those little antenna things. Honestly, of course, I would, I would trust uh, Chandra, anything she says, because she lived in Africa which I'm extremely jealous about too. I wish I lived in Africa. Okay, now I'm just gonna add more to this side, not really being perfect with how these spots are looking. Francis. Okay, I'm just going to add a couple more. So I saw a lot of kids are heading back to school for MISD. I know they're doing the virtual learning. Also, Alpine heading back to school today as well. So that's exciting. Um, 
And I know like on the Sunrise Show, we were asking for a lot of the uh, back to school pictures and a lot of you guys are not disappointing us at all. So if y'all have any back to school pictures with the kids, feel free to you know send those our way too so that we can air them. And that's also fun as well. I wanna know like how do the kids feel about learning from home as well, you know? Just kind of a different environment, but Dylan was saying the other day, he was like, well, you know what? Cafeteria food is always better at home. Cause mom's cooking is always the best. Oh, and also if you missed the newscast today or last night, uh, the city of Odessa has released some plans on what they are going to do for the, um, the anniversary of August 31st. Uh, I know they're asking people, if you are a business owner, if you live at home, to put yellow ribbons uh, on, your, on your doors to honor the victims. They're also going to do a moment of silence on August 31st and they're gonna have some flags placed around, uh, yellow flags, in fact, to be placed around Memorial Gardens in Odessa. So, um, and we also have all those details posted on our website too. So. Yeah, so if you wanna find a way how you can honor the victims, um, you can go on there to find out more. Kind of making these round and trying not to do that. Okay, here we go. There you go. And the Resiliency Center also has details on their Facebook page as well. So. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a couple more on the bottom. I'll just hold that up here. Also, what I do recommend if you are um, painting stuff like this, try to get acrylic markers because they're really, really cool. It's basically like acrylic paint, but in the form of a marker and I'm telling you, these are going to be great for the outlines, which is what I will show you in just a second. Feels like you're right in the back of the giraffe. I know, because his face isn't even finished yet. It's kind of giving me these, uh, missing these Toys R Us vibes. I'm just kidding, I haven't walked into a Toys R Us in years anyway. You know what's really fun is um, feeding giraffes. It's actually really fun. They do that at the Abilene Zoo. I know that's one of the closest zoos around here. Best five dollars ever spent. Whoa, Raymond's here. What's up, Raymond? Yeah, if y'all have any questions about the Resiliency Center, feel free to comment down below and then um, we'll have someone monitoring the comments to do their best to answer anything. Okay, so let's say I'm okay with uh, 
these spots. Next thing I'm gonna do is wash off my brush. Then I'm gonna get into some of the black paint. Let me just do a sketch real quick because I wanna do the eyes, but I'm gonna place the eyes a little over the ears. So it's gonna be kind of like these weird almond shapes. I'm not trying to make this as realistic as I can, so just bear with me. Okay. I know it looks like they're really wide apart, but... Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do these little leaf shapes right here. We're gonna, we're gonna make this giraffe cute. I know it looks like an alien right now, but he's, he's not gonna look like an alien after a while. Okay, so I'm gonna give him these little lashes right here. Because yes, giraffes do have lashes, so. And then we'll fill those, we'll fill those in just a second. We're still not done yet. Okay, and then I'm gonna they do have really pretty eyelashes, don't they? They're just really pretty creatures, I think. Then I'm gonna go into some of the red and I'm going to kinda add another smaller leaf shape down here. Same thing here. So something like that. Okay. Now what's next? What's next? So now that I'm done with that, the snow part is going to be a little weird, but you're gonna create kind of in between the eyes right here. You're gonna create this little bump and then a bigger bump. It's gonna look really goofy, but I'm, I'm telling you, this is, this is gonna be the easy way to do Jeffrey. Okay, let me do this in pencil and then. Okay, see this is like, a, just imagine a Sharpie, but it's acrylic paint. This will be your best friend. Okay, one, two, and then for the nostrils right here, Okay, now here's the next thing that I'm gonna do. I'm going to outline everything. See, he's, he's slowly coming together. He looks goofy, but that's okay. Outline the ear right here. Okay. Okay, 
and then I'm gonna finish off this here. I don't know why, but that sound is just so satisfying. The little marker on the canvas. Okay, and then for this part, then I'm just gonna kind of add these like, these lines right here. I'm going over some of the red here. So if you don't have one of these acrylic markers, that's totally fine. Working with a thinner paintbrush and using that instead, works as well. This just happens to be easier for me. Okay, so I'm still not done yet because I still need to add some more spots to him. So I'm gonna go back in my smaller paintbrush and then just kind of add that to his face. I'm just gonna add little small ones on his chin. What painting experience do you have? I like your shading on the ears. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is more cartoony than what I typically do, but um, I don't know. I started painting like in high school. Uh, that was when I first started to experiment with acrylic and then painted in college a little bit. But, um, and then I stopped painting after a while. Uh, I was doing a lot of commission work and then it just felt like it was so overwhelming, but then like, quarantine happened and then I started to paint again so I'm so happy I get to do it again because it's kind of like riding a bicycle when you don't do it after a while it's like this skill that you just forget and I know that sounds weird but it's you know there's certain techniques that whenever you are painting you kind of forget how much pressure you're applying to the canvas and stuff like that but don't feel like don't feel discouraged because I know people who you know they weren't so artistic back in the day but now they're like painting a lot and I I mean move over Bob Ross because <laughs> these people are really good. So I would just say, you know, with more practice, um, it, you'll get better. And if you've never painted before, and maybe you are stressed out, I feel like painting is a great way to kind of, it's very meditating for me, you know? Sometimes when I have a stressful week, I like to paint nowadays. Um, and I'm staying home a lot. So it's kind of nice to just get out a canvas and just paint. Um, they even, they even have studies where, you know, people who paint, they have a, I don't know how to explain it, but they're not as stressed. So um, I would say try it if you've never painted before. Some people just like to watch me paint and that's fine. Um, but I would say if you haven't, definitely try it for sure. Okay, what else am I missing? I think I'm just going to, no, I'm going to add a little bit more. Just, just a little bit on the sides right here. And then a little bit of the white. Oh, that is too much white. I just need a little bit. Okay. I'm going to add a dot. Gives him some character. Okay, so this, yeah, this, this looks really cartoony, but it's easy. So... <clears throat> Great gift for any friends who are <clears throat> pregnant, <laughs> you know, a little something to hang in the baby room. Um, and there you have it. Got 
Jeffrey and Jeffrey too. So I hope that was easy to follow. And we also have some of the previous videos posted on this Facebook page. So if you have any suggestions um, or if you're someone going off on a different tangent here, someone going through a hard time and you need someone to talk to, um, feel free to contact the Family Resiliency Center. And this is why I, I I feel so strongly about this and why I'm partnering with them. So um, here I'm getting a comment. Kenneth Harris, I have severe anxiety and watching you is very relaxing. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, and I and that's so nice to hear. So um, if you're someone going through a hard time, you know, try painting. Try it. Just try it out. You know, just give it a chance. And uh, who knows, maybe you will pick up another hobby. But I hope you guys enjoy that. Stay tuned. We're going to do this again. I believe we're going to do it on Monday, but if anything changes, we will let you know. For any details, please follow the Family Resiliency Center of the Permian Basin. They will answer any questions you have and feel free to message them. All right, bye y'all. Have a great week.